I don't have a neighbor within eight miles of me. There's no law enforcement out there. It's the worst I've ever seen it. It's just a free for all. The southern border of Texas is experiencing the largest flow of undocumented migrants in U.S. history. A record 1.3 million apprehensions with over 25% involving repeat crossers. This is Tarot County, Texas, where incoming migrants outnumber local residents. Granted, we've always had people walk across the border. We have. It wasn't a threat. But when you have over 100 countries that come across the border, it's an issue. County Judge Carruthers is the highest municipal authority for Terrell. Her jurisdiction covers 1.5 million acres of canyon country with 91 miles adjacent to the Mexico border. Trucks are always locked in front of my house. In fact, I had a group try to steal my bigger pickup truck at four o'clock in the morning last September. Kinley Coyan runs 45,000 acres of ranch land directly north of Mexico. Today, his livelihood is complicated by trespassers. We have enough problems with old pipelines and different things just naturally breaking due to age. So when things break because people are coming through, that part is frustrating. And it happens. I've been hospitalized because of them. Horse kill, three dogs kill. And that's all just in the pursuit of keeping them off of me and the ranches that I protect. Barry Blair maintains a property overlooking Mexico. The ex-Marine apprehends migrants on a daily basis. And I'm up to seven myself this year. I caught 29 last year. And this is illegals that are broke into cabins and stuff, and I just didn't let them get away. These locals report activity to U.S. Border Patrol, a federal agency that executes presidential policy. These people are still not looking to surrender and claim asylum or anything like that. They're looking to abscond and, and make their way into the United States. Thaddeus Cleveland is the PAIC of Sanderson Station. And this is a rare look at his area of responsibility. We're driving in between various mountain ranges, canyons, creeks, washes, but it takes the, the technology we have, cameras, sensors, um, combined together to go out and make successful apprehensions. This is the outermost part of the U.S.-Mexico border, where nature threatens human life in every direction. You know, people are coming here from all over the world, not just Mexico, not just Central America. They're coming from Asia, from Europe, from Africa. We encounter people from all over the world that are utilizing the Mexican border to, to further entry in the United States, and, and they're in desperation, and they're, they're looking to come to work and, and have the life that we have. The very dream of two Honduran migrants now in holding at Sanderson Station. <laughs> fleeing poverty and climate disaster for a better life in Houston. This is their first time inside the U.S. It's very difficult to secure the, the southern border if you don't have uh, support from the top. It has to start there. Manpower is essential. We don't have it. So it's very difficult to take care of what we're, we're trying to, you know, to secure and uh, without, the, without the help. What kind of help? I don't know. Government claims there ain't none. County ain't got the money to buy none. So what do you do? Everything's just changing and and, and until things happen, it's, this is going to continue.
Awesome. Tell me if it turned out. My first time doing this.